today's lecture, we're going to look at the irrational number. Example one, let's simplify given irrational numbers. As you can see, irrational is, well, uh, square roots is part of the irrational values. So let's look at square root of 75. Let's see if we can simplify that. Whenever we have a square root, this is the square roots, right? Whenever we have square roots, um, and we have a two of the same number inside, then we should be able to bring it outside of the square roots. So let's see, we're going to use the factor tree to see what's inside 75, what multiplication is in 75. So 5 times 15 is 75. 15 is 5 times 3. So in other word, square root of 75 is square root of 5 times 5 times 3. Like I said, because you have two of the same number, you should be able to write it down. 5 outside of the radical. The one that didn't have any matching will still stay inside of the square root. So now square root of 75 become 5 square root of 3. So let's try one more time. So I need to know what number, what multiplications you have in 500. So let's use the factor tree. 5 times 100, 100 is 10 times 10. And I guess you can factor further, but you don't want it to factor further because you just want it to know if you have two same number. So here, looks like you have two same number, 10 times 10. So that can be outside of the radical. The one that didn't have um, matching will stay inside. So will be 10 square root of 5. Example 2, multiplying. So multiplications, you just need to remember when you're multiplying square roots, the inside square root will be multiplied together. Outside of square roots have to be multiplied together with outside of the square roots. So something like this. So long as you have a same index, you can multiply. When it's a index, we're talking about this, this roots. So we call this the square roots. And we have a uh, cube roots, fourth roots, and so on. But um, since we're going to only talk about square roots in this class, we should be able to multiply. inside square roots together, which will give you 10. Square root of 10 for that problem. This one right here, you can do two way. You can multiply and reduce, or you reduce then multiply. So I'm going to show you, you multiply first. So you're going to do um, 6 times 12, 72, and then reduce. So 72, let's see if we have any uh, same two numbers, right? 2 times uh, 36, and then that will be 6 times 6. So this is going to be 6 square root of 2, right? So this is one way you can do. Or, um, simplify first. And look like I see that inside of 12 is 6 times 2. Right? So another word is this is going to be square root of 6 times 6 times 2. So that this gives you 6. One with the two same value outside 
without the same value will be inside, which will give you the same solution as the other way. Example three, we wanted to do dividing. So numerator and denominator is square roots, and we can put it under one root, long as it's the same root, and this is square root. Numerator square root, denominator square root, so we should be able to put it under the one root, and then reduce the fractions, look like 3 goes into 75, 25 times. So that means this is square root 25. And we know square root of 25 equals to 5 times 5. So that will be 5. What about adding and subtracting? So adding, subtracting, you have to have same radical to add and subtract. When you say same radical, it means like you have to have square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Or if you have square root of 5, you have to have square root of 5 in order to be add the number in front. So this is going to be 1. If you don't see number, right, this is going to be 1. So this become 2 square root of 2. So you consider square root of 2 as your unit. So with that in mind, if you're looking at the first problems, we have different square roots. One is square root of 2. The other one is square root of 8. So as it is, you cannot add them. But if we simplify square root of 8, we know that we can get same root. So let's try that. Square root of 2 we cannot reduce because you don't have uh, same two number inside of 2. But square root of 8, 8 we have 2 times 4, that's 2 times 2. So we should be able to bring out this 2 as the 1, 2 outside. And the one that didn't have matching will stay inside. This means on a square root 2, you have 2 here, but you have 1 there. So if you don't have any number in front, it means you have 1 there. Right? So let me write this one. So you're doing one plus two. So you're basically adding the whole number of your square roots. So that's going to be three square root of two for that problem. So I'm going to try again with B. As it is, you cannot subtract because one is square root of eight, the other one is square root of uh, square root of 18. So you need to have the same square roots, same radical to add or subtract. So let's see if we can make the same radical once we simplify. So 8, we did this one before. We know that it will be 2 square root of 2, right? So this is the 2 same value. That will be 1 of 2 and 2 outside. And because you had 4 before, don't forget that you need to multiply whatever the number you are bringing out. You need to multiply that number to 4. So square root of 8 is square root of 2 over 2. And when you multiply 2 with 4, you can get 8 square root of 2. And then subtract. Let's look at 18. 18 is 2 times 9. That's 3. Three, right? So in other words, you're going to pull one three out and two will stay inside. So you have minus, you had seven before, right? And times three square root of two. Now let me write that on the top so I can write on the bottom the multiplications of that number, right?
So then you're going to get 8 minus 21. Since 21 is larger, you do 21 minus 8 and sign from the larger number. Next example, we're going to see rationalizing denominator. What does rationalizing mean? Rationalizing is getting rid of square roots from denominator. So the one of the rules on a fractions, you cannot have zero on denominator and you cannot have square roots, any roots on denominator of fractions. So if you're looking at this problem, you see square root of six. You, so you wanted to get rid of this square roots. And we know if we have two same number, like for example, if we have square root of three times three, we get rid of square roots, just write three, right? So if we have the same two number inside of square roots, we should be able to get rid of square roots. So I will multiply denominator by square root of six order to make this equal to square root of 6 times 6, which is going to be 6 on denominator, right? In order to do that, you also need to multiply square root of 6 on the numerator. So whatever you multiply denominator, you're going to multiply exactly same thing to the numerator, then you're not changing the given fractions. So then on the numerator, you end up getting 15 square root of 6. So that will be 15 square root of 6. And do we have any common between 6 and 15? Yeah. 3 goes in, right? 3 goes into 6 twice. 3 goes into 15. 5 times. This will give you 5 square root of 6 over 2. Let's look at the next one. So this is same as having square root of 3 over square root of 5. So in order to get rid of square root from denominator, I guess I'm multiplying by square root of 5. One more square root of 5. It means I'm multiplying numerator by the same thing. So that will give me inside of square roots on the numerator 3 times 5, which is 15. Denominator is going to be square root of 5 times 5, which is going to be 5. And don't forget, square root of 15 and 5, you cannot reduce because one number is inside of square roots and the other one is not, right? So that will be the final solution for example B. If we look at C, I wanted to, this problem, it's, it's easier if you simplify your radical first. Instead of multiplying denominator by square root of 8, that's going to become a pretty large number. So instead of that, I wanted to first simplify this square root. And we've been doing square root of 8 so many times, right? This one we did that, right? Square root of 8. We know that's equals to 2 square root of 2 by now, right? So this is going to be 2 square root of 2. And once you simplify, it looks like you just need to get rid of square root of 2 instead of square root of 8. Smaller numbers to get rid of. So you're going to multiply by square root of 2. It means you're going to do the same thing on the numerator. At the same time, if we're looking at 12 over 2, you can reduce that one even, right? So 2 goes into 12 6 times. So on denominator, we have 
square root of 2 times 2, which is going to be 2. Okay. Numerator, I have 6 times square root of 2, which is 6 square root of 2. I should be able to reduce one more time because 2 goes into 6 3 times, which gives you 3 square root of 2 over 1 for that problem.